Going on Legion, Azrael here, like always, and uh, I'm just going to, for anybody that hasn't been here since the last 21 pilot videos, that was a 25 minute video. Holy God, did I ramble about a whole bunch of crap. Uh, my bad. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, hey, it's cool, we want to hear your thoughts on things, and some, I personally thought I talked too long, like, like I said last time, if, if I thought it was too long, it was really long. Uh, also, I made a lot of similarities. I went on a very weird tangent that I realized I was still recording a video pretty much because I started just talking like like this was a live stream or something. I was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh. So, my bad on that. Uh, <laughs> I said that this video wouldn't be over 10 minutes. Uh, I know because I said that about 30 seconds ago when I was wrapping up the first video. Uh, I remember I talked about, you know, having a gawking faces look at me well this is what i was looking at as i was making that other video i actually didn't minimize it i was just lying um but yeah so with that let's just get into this this is like a uh, faq um i forgot what the f stand for uh ask questions facts answers questions is that what that said I, I can't remember either way let's just get into it um yeah i was gonna say something else but let's just nah. Hello there, we're 21 Pilots. This is our FAQ. Brought to you by these people. Check them out in all their local listings and or webpage social media. You know, it's, a lot of people think that stands for frequently asked questions, but actually it stands for... Fundamentally adequate quintessentials. It's true. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing the fundamentally ad. I was wrong the first time. Point essentials. So um, I'm going to pick a question on hat. We have not seen any of these, and you have to answer them quickly. That's cool. Hey, Josh, would you rather spend a day in Antarctica or the desert? I think it's dessert. Oh. I think it's, it's dessert. Is it dessert? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Antarctica or dessert? Well, I'd have to go to Antarctica um, because I can make my own snow cones. I completely disagree with you. Okay. Now I live in Arizona. I live in the uh, desert. F this. Are fundamentally adequate quintessentials. Tyler, what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Um, my mom force fed me bananas from when I was four years old to about 15 years old because she thought it would help. Gross. Be, yeah, be healthy. Uh, whoever was the first person to see a banana and go, let's put that in my mouth. I just don't like bananas very much. So <laughs> there's the answer there. Ah, Josh, dick joke. Uh, for your frequently adequate quintessentials. Fundamentally. It's okay. If you if your house was on fire and you could grab only th uh, three things, but I'm going to change that to two okay. um, before leaving, what would they be? Oh my gosh. Um, two things. I, if, if Tyler was in my house, I'd bring Tyler. That's the first thing. Um, <laughs> you can just, we could just do one thing. Second thing is I'd bring Tyler's piano. Thank you. Wow, that's a good Tyler, friend right there. Yeah. Fundamentally adequate quintessentials. <laughs> yep. Tyler Joseph, do you have any weird body skills? Can you show them? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Question's over. Next. <laughs> I do, but I only show Josh. <laughs> um, what's the, Josh, this is for you. This oh, question, funny. so I'm reading it, so it's for you. Okay. Fundamentally. <laughs> adequate. Adequate. Quintess quintessentials. What's the last picture you've taken with your smartphone? Oh. The last picture I took on my smartphone was a picture of me and you with our shirts up uh, in front of a cool German building. <laughs> we did that. We did. It is actually true. It is actually great. Um, <laughs> hit me. Come on. All right, Tyler, what's your favorite song from the 90s? Ooh. Whoa. I can't even remember. Wumba one in the 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Get Knocked Down? Get Knocked Down. But I Get Up Again. But I Get Up Again. Oh, you yeah. Keep Me Down. I that was a good that. song. You know, that was a really good song. Do That's I a good. By that when I say uh, yeah. that, <laughs> I, no, I know what you mean. Here's that was good, good, man. Central. Okay, right here. Josh, what TV show do you secretly enjoy? Ooh, Ooh. I secretly. It says also you have to say it in, a, in like a high pitched voice. Um, TV show that I secretly enjoy would be. I don't have a secret one. I'm pretty open about any show that I enjoy. Yeah, so I, like, I am. I'm not embarrassed that I like Sex in the City. I <laughs> know, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't watch that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. All right. I mean, I watched the Jersey okay, Shore, Tyler, but I... Yo. What was the last present that you made someone? Um, oh, jeez. Present that I made someone? 
Was the uh, last time you made a president that you gave someone? Gave. Thank you. That's the oh. quote. I read it wrong. Oh, My thanks. It was thanks. A, it was... um, I gave Josh a side hug for his birthday. That's yeah. you. When I say Josh, I mean you. He means me because yeah. that did happen. Mm -hmm. You want to read that again then? <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Two more left. Give me Which a, one is it gonna be? Give me Which one is it gonna be? Give me a quintessential. Let me get the last. There's only two quintessentials left. Josh, the worst movie you've ever seen. Oh. I want to answer this one. Simple. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get made fun of no matter what I say. People it's are gonna true. be mad. It's true. Uh, the worst movie that I've ever seen is a movie called The Room. Uh, <laughs> oh God. It's, it's a it's classic. Great, though. We love it, and we quote it, and we laugh at it, and we watch it over and over and over and over again. But it's the worst movie I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Tyler? Really quick. For anybody that doesn't know The Room, um, uh, um, oh, God, oh, God. James Franco is making a movie about the greatest worst movie ever made, The Room, which is how I know about it. I've actually never seen The Room. The Room is actually dubbed the worst movie ever made in history. Um... For, I, I just wanted to answer it really quick. For me, the worst movie ever made was The Village. Uh, if you've never seen The Village, I suggest you look it up. If you have seen The Village, that you understand that it was a great movie until the very end when the entire illusion of the world was destroyed by the writer uh, and just ruined everything. I literally was like, F this movie, as like a 13-year-old boy with my father watching the movie. I was like, F this movie. Stood up and walked out. Hit me. Google, or uh, YouTube it also. You just YouTube the room and watch a couple clips. Tyler, if you had a time machine, would you go back in time to travel to the future? And what would you do? In time or travel to the future? Yeah, he read that weird. I'm completely confused by that question. Let me read it again. <laughs> Tyler, if really, you... Really, hold on. Get it in there. If you had a time machine, would you travel back in time or would you travel to the future? And what would you do? Yes! Do you understand it now? Because I think I... <laughs> Did that so that you could understand. You did that so naturally. Right? <laughs> you started rubbing the question, the the, the, quintessential. the quintessential on your head. Um, I would travel back in time. That's a safe answer, I think. And I would go to the guy or girl who first saw a banana and wanted to eat it. <laughs> yeah. No, you will not eat that, it's and none of you. us will. Nobody will. That's good. Thanks for having us on our fundamentally adequate quintessentials, also called frequently asked questions. We're 21 pilots, and so are you. Uh. <laughs> Super corny, but I liked it. This is apparently a part one. Glass breaking. All right, we're Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's coming in to kick my ass. What's going on over here? This is. It says part one. Will I ever get to a part two? If I know, uh, I, I remember the last time I did a part one and part two, I completely forgot about the part two and never did it again until someone reminded me in a random comment that I happened to find. I was like, oh, fuck me, I forgot to do that. And then I made a reaction about it the next day and uploaded it. Um, yeah, man, this is an eight minute video, so I think I might lie about the 10 minute thing. That might be a lie. Still, so, because I, I just got done making the video, I feel so weird about having a 25 minute video about me blabbering about other stuff. Anyways, so um, that was pretty fun. Uh, I really enjoyed, again, seeing a different side of them. Something like we saw the Vine stuff. I haven't seen, because like I said, I just made the video. Uh, if they were huge on Vine, I think they would have had a great, the way they act, they probably had a great Vine account that probably helps, you know, spur their uh, popularity. Because if the stuff that I saw in the Vine comp, if I would have saw that like on Vine or something, I'd be like, dude, these guys are awesome. And then I would have watched their, or listened to their music and I would have been horribly depressed because if I don't suffer from it, it's just like, it's like watching Schindler's List, right? It's just, I didn't live through that, but watching other people live, you're like, me, man, that sucks. That's depressing to watch. So, I definitely think their music definitely hits a chord in people that suffer. Wow, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a fit there. Uh, people that suffer from that kind of stuff and the people that just like music and listen to anything that, no matter what the lyrics mean. Uh, but the Vine Comp, I think, was really good. They would have been, I think they'd be great YouTubers, honestly. I think they would have a lot of, just keep doing, like, Vine stuff on uh, YouTube. There's also, Twitter's uploading 
Twitter's having a Vine app. So you can do Vine on your phone, but it goes to YouTube instead. So that's the thing. So if you guys are ever tweeting at them or, or messaging them, tell them to keep doing that kind of stuff because it'll go on Twitter. And uh, I think Twitter's way bigger uh, than anything for the most part. And I'll actually get to watch it because I never had Vine. I never watched Vine. Uh, but as far as this went, it was fun to kind of see them goof around again, have fun, um, and and stuff like that. You know, it was just kind of cool. It's Again, it's really cool to see the other side of them uh, and, and everything that they're doing. It's, I don't know, it's just, it, it's a huge contrast from what their music is. I'm sure when one of them, or, or I, I don't exactly know what they each suffer from, I know that uh, somebody said in a comment yesterday that Tyler uh, has like mild depression himself or something like that. And I'm sure that maybe it's not just something like, oh, you know, I just don't feel, no, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure it may be kind of severe uh, for him, maybe. Uh, so... You know, I'm sure with all the happiness that we see, there's probably some very, very, like, just dumpy kind of depressed moments that he probably has in his life. And I'm sure that his family and friends have probably seen that. So uh, when you look at stuff like this, um, as PewDiePie was talking about forced, you know, uh, positivity, don't take the Vine comp, don't take this video as in everything is always hunky-dory. Not everything is great in someone's life. And if they weren't seeing about it, you probably would never know about this stuff. Uh, you would see their vines, you would see this video, and you go, oh, yeah, they seem like really cool guys. But, you know, privately, I'm sure they all have their problems, and they sing about it, so we all get to know that stuff. Also, somebody asked me, what was it? Is it Hostage by a Pen? I actually don't know the name of the song. A lot of people were like, yo, check this song out. Check this out. Do this. This is what I meant by we had something to discuss at the end of it. Uh, hopefully the link will work. I don't know if it will or not. If it does, then I'll remake it. But um, people are asking me to react to a certain song. A live version of the song. Again, another live one. The problem was, this song has been played and recorded by multiple venues. So what I did was, I took the top three in the search, and I put them right here. And you can see they're all the same exact song, uh, Addicted with a Pen, excuse me, not Hostage. That's You can keep that. That's the next name of your album, Hostage of a Pen. Um, <clears throat> in order of search results, uh, this is what they popped up in, 1, 2, and 3 right here. Uh, I believe 2 was the most viewed, as in 2 million. Uh, 1 was about 75, and I think 3 was 30 million. Um 75, or excuse me, 75,000 and 30,000. What am I saying? Million? What? Uh, but <clears throat> if any of you guys, uh, like I said, the poll, the, the, uh, the link will be a straw poll. So if anybody actually cares enough, you can go to the straw poll and the link in the description down below, un underneath the link for this video, I believe. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to just say, hey, check, because these are all the same song, but they're all at different venues. So if you want to check these out and, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, vote, I guess, for which one you think is the best, I'll check that one out. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm only going to do one. Like I said, same song, different venues. Uh, and I want to know, because I literally was like, well, what sh I've done this before. I've done a live song. And people are like, you should have done the live one at this venue. And I was like, well, f me in the face while running. I didn't know that. Nobody got specific with me. Don't be afraid if you link something to get as specific as you need. Just don't link me eight songs. That's just too much. That l literally makes me not want to do uh, comments like ever again. Saying, so, like when I do Filipino music, they're like, you like Fourth Impact? Well, here, here's the entire country list. And I'm like, well... Fuck me, bro. That's a lot of music. I got lists for days for Filipino music, and I haven't done it in a while. But thankfully, all those all those comments are gone now because YouTube uh, deleted them all. But um, no, it's if if you guys gotta get specific, um, because a lot of people, a lot of people, and it's been it's been a month or so since I a couple months since I've said this. We're at fourteen minutes. I completely lied about ten minutes. Um. I I I don't like saying it every video, but links I like them to be a mandatory, 
usually if you say check this out i thumb up your video and i keep scrolling that's not to be a dick that's not to be mean but i spent about an hour yesterday doing uh not the 21 pilot video i just did but the one before that the actual live performance i spent about an hour or so going through every comment and then responding to some of the people that were awake at whatever time in the morning and responded to them again it was about an hour or so maybe a little longer and if people were, and a lot of those people about seven or eight of them were like check this out check this out check that out and there was none none of those were links and that made that would make all right dude with the car that's really loud it, it was about an hour or so normally just reading everything because some people leave some long comments i don't take the time to read it and, and understand what they're saying that it would have been at least an hour and a half to two hours to go and copy, paste, look up, then save the video, create the link, blah, 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 put it in the folder. You know, with a link, I can just go click, download, copy the link, I'm done. But sometimes people don't link me the right videos. They just, they type the stuff out. And if you type it, sometimes it's not spelled right, but not being spelled right, it's the wrong song. So with a link, a link ensures me that you went to the video that you wanted to listen to, said, that's the video, let me link it. Because some people are like, do this. And I go, here it is. And they go, that's not what I asked for. I go, well, that's what you wrote. You, you were thinking of the wrong song. So I'm very stingy about links. I don't want to seem like a douche when I say I thumb up and just keep on going. I go, thanks for the suggestion. I'll get to it. Which I may, if I remember to come back to that specific video and scroll down and look for the thing, if I'm ever in hurt for some music by 21 pilots <clears throat> but other than that uh if you guys want to um pick whatever version you guys want to pick that's cool if not i'll probably just randomly just eeny meeny miny mo and just pick whatever one i want to do but if you guys have a, a preference a suggestion whatever one you think is the best performance live sounds the best has the best energy from the crowd from you the viewers or you the fans i should say of this group pick which one you want and uh top vote i guess obviously we'll get it that does create some strife if your vote doesn't get picked don't get mad at me don't get mad at the people that voted for something else i think it's, this is just the best way to do it uh, we get roughly anywhere from 200 to a thousand views on a, on a 21 pilot video i think roughly a few hundred at least um so if everybody that's a really big fan of it wants to check it out you can with that i'm gonna get out of here, out of here. thanks for watching thanks for hanging out if you like the video like the content you can always like subscribe or share remember it's completely up to you i do appreciate it though again if you want to discuss anything we've talked about on this channel on this video specifically you can leave a comment down below i appreciate all links like i said thumbs up and a scroll if it's not a link so sorry if that sounds very douchey I'm a very douchey kind of guy. I'm a very, I'm just an asshole. I'm really nice on camera, but I'm just a dick. No, I'm not really. Well, yeah. I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Once again, my name is Azriel. If you want to check out any of my links down below, you can do that. Twitter, I made a Facebook for anybody that doesn't have a Twitter. Uh, my live stream, if you're into video games, always come check me out. You love to see the rage. You love to see the awesome plays. Always love playing games live. So with that, again, later, guys. Again, thanks for watching. We are 2,400 and climbing in the subscriber count, which is awesome. Yeah. But I'm not going to take up any more of your time. I really thought this was going to be a shorter video. We went from 25 to 18. That's not much of a difference, but I think it's a difference enough. I'm just rambling now to see how long I can go and talk and think of things to say until I end the video. I'm done. Bye.